are you? Welcome back to my channel for another one of my honest review series. I've had a lot of requests lately that I do more honest reviews, so here I am. And for the past couple of months, I've been experimenting with Curology. So I posted on my Instagram story and I said, do you want an honest review series of Curology? And overwhelmingly, so many of you said yes. A lot of you actually also said like, I've been trying the super bottle, the formula, the prescription part, but not the cleanser or not the moisturizer. And I want to review on the whole thing. So here I am. I have been using the cleanser, the moisturizer and the super bottle, which is kind of the prescription strength custom part of the whole skincare routine for two months now. I'm here with an honest review. And in all transparency and in all honesty, because I really value transparency more than pretty much anything in the world, you know that's my brand, Curology did reach out to me. They reached out to me and said, hey, do you wanna try these products? And in all honesty again, sorry, Curology, I was like, I'll try it. I'll try anything. I wasn't necessarily like, too, too thrilled to try it because I didn't really understand what Curology was. And I was like, this is just overhyped, whatever. But then they're like, great, here's, here's the quiz you have to fill out. And it was super in depth. And I was like, oh, oh, wait, this is, this is custom. Like you're actually learning my skin and asking me questions and all of that. So I was very pleasantly surprised that it was not what I thought it was, but we will get more into that process in a minute. And so, Curology asked if I wanted to partner with them on a video and I said, I literally worked this into the contract, I will do it if it can be an honest review, not just like a typical sponsored video because a review without honesty is just a waste of time for everyone, for me, for you, for everyone. So they said yes, they're really cool. Thank you so much Curology for sponsoring an honest video where I will give you all of my thoughts, the good, the bad, the ugly, what I genuinely think about this, how it's been working for me, my whole experience. Let's get into it. What do you say? So I feel like before jumping into the product, I should probably give you a backstory on my skin so that you know like what my goals were, where I'm coming from. Cause an interesting part about reviewing something like this, obviously everybody has super different skin. Everybody has super different goals. And the product that you will receive, at least the formula part is going to be super different because it's going to be based off of you and your skin and your goals. So I'm gonna explain mine because like I said, this actually is not a one size fits all skincare line. So let me explain my size and how it fits. So when I moved to LA, it's been about three and a half, almost four years ago now, my skin was really bad. I think it was a mix between the stress of going through a breakup and moving to a new city and juggling school and all of that, the lifestyle change of living in a big city, all the pollution, my kind of diet change of living alone on a strict budget, trying to figure out how to eat, all of those things. My skin got so bad. And so I actually did go to a dermatologist quite a few times, had all these different prescriptions, spent a lot of money. And after, I would say about a year of trial and error, I think I actually did get my skin to a pretty good spot. Like I've been pretty proud of my skin. I didn't have really bad acne or anything when Curology reached out to me. And I was really nervous to switch things up because I had been doing the same thing for three years and it had pretty much been working on the acne side of things. But they asked me what my skincare goals were. And um, now that I feel like my acne and like clear skin is pretty under control, I wanna start kind of focusing on anti-aging because I know that anti-aging is preventative. It's not really something that you can, science is wild, you could probably reverse some signs of aging, but I was like, I wanna start now while I'm young, keep my skin looking good, prevent wrinkles and all of that instead of having to try to figure out anti-aging things later, which, you know, there's no, there's nothing wrong with aging, but like, I like my skin and I wanna try to keep it as good for as long as possible. Nothing wrong with that, right? That's just me being honest. I was kind of nervous though, because I didn't wanna sacrifice the clarity of my skin just to try to start the anti-aging thing. So I was really nervous that my skin was gonna break out if I switched anything up. But I said, for the love of my subscribers, I'm the guinea pig, I will try things so that I can give you my honest review. And so, they sent me this very in-depth quiz asking me all about my skincare history, my regimen, what things I have issues with, what my goals are, all of, all of these questions, very in-depth. And I was really impressed. And so I was like, cool, I did the quiz. And they're like, no, now you have to submit pictures of your skin. And I was like, brilliant. Just like, just like a real appointment, they're going to evaluate the way my skin looks. I'll actually insert the pictures that I sent 
to them here. It was no makeup. My skin was looking pretty good. I had a couple of breakouts around my chin, really small ones. That typically happens about once a month, thanks to hormones. Well, that was happening right about then, but all in all, my, my skin was pretty good. But I, I wanna start incorporating anti-aging things. And another thing that I have noticed, I actually went back to the dermatologist a few months ago for the texture of my skin. I noticed that I had these little bumps. They weren't acne. I have no idea what they are, what they're called. It's just my texture stopped being smooth for a while. So I told them that, that was one thing I was concerned about too, is I have these like little bumps that sometimes pop up and they don't form into actual zits or anything and I don't know what they are. So I wanted to improve the texture and I wanted to not break out and I wanted to focus on anti-aging. And the cool thing about it is there's a real human behind it. So I started messaging with my dermatology provider. Her name, it's on my bottle, which is why I'm checking. Her name was Lindsay Egan. Egan? Egan? Sorry, Lindsay. I don't know how to say your last name. Most people don't know how to say my last name. Now it's Smith. People know how to say Smith. Jancy people don't know how to say. Within just a couple of days, my skincare products were at my door and it's cool. So this is what came in my first package. These three things. So I have obviously the cleanser, the moisturizer, these are the same for everyone. Then this is the part that's customized. This is what they call the super bottle. It has my name on the back and it has what active ingredients they've put on the back. I'll show you a close up so I don't have to try to pronounce these things because let's be honest, I'm terrible at pronouncing things all of the time. But it's also really cool how much information they give you. They told me what the active ingredients in it do, which I thought was cool. Um, so I will read it. So obviously the, the, I'm gonna, try to say these anyways after I said I'm not gonna try. Tin no one is basically what's in retin-A, retinols, the anti-aging thing, and that has been something that I've been wanting to try in the past. And I actually did previously get a retinol from my dermatologist, but I had never used it because when I did, my skin would freak out. Retinols can make your skin peel a lot of the time. They make your skin really sensitive and it just was not worth it to me. And I'll be getting into how I reacted to this in a second. But so that is for fine lines, wrinkles, that whole thing. They added a vitamin B3 that also helps fight wrinkles, reduce redness, all that. The acid in there, azelaic acid, that's what helps with clogged pores and promotes collagen growth, helps with inflammation. So that part is what's supposed to help improve my skin texture, which is nice. And then there is a different acid in here um, that actually they said is in my bottle on what they sent me. It's not listed here, but ranaximaic acid? I'm sure I have really smart like med student subscribers that are just going like this. Like hell. I'm trying, okay? And that helps hyperpigmentation and reduce inflammation. So that helps the overall appearance of my skin as well as far as like coloring goes and everything like that. That's what's in my custom formula. Before I jump into exactly everything that I think about this product, just to let you know in case you don't make it to the end of the video, they did include a very, very nice, generous promo code for you. And it's actually just linked down below. So if you click on that link, they give you a free month trial for only the cost of shipping, which is $4.95. So you can get all of this for $4.95 see how you like it, see if you love it, see if you hate it. And there's actually another way to try 90 days for free that I will give you at the end of the video if you stay if you stay tuned to that. One thing that's cool about this is it is prescription strength. So like you can go get over the counter things if you want, but the prescription strength is gonna be up to 20 times more powerful, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. If you have a reaction to something, 20 times more powerful could be bad. I haven't really had a reaction to anything. So for me, it's good. So let's jump into my actual review of the products. Now that you know like what's in it, what my skin is, how I got it, all of that. So every single night I've been doing the moisturizer first. Did I say the moisturizer? The cleanser first, duh. Cleanser first, then the prescription part, and then the moisturizer last. The cleanser, let's start with the cleanser. I actually like it. There is almost no scent. It kinda just has like a general clean, almost like medical smell to it, which obviously isn't like the most pleasant, but I prefer that because I know there's no artificial fragrance or anything unhelpful in it like that. Um, it is very bland in a good way. Does that make sense? Like it's not aggressive at all. Um, it has like a gel-like consistency, but almost gets a little bit milky when you rub it around. It doesn't foam up, it doesn't froth. <laughs> We're not making cappuccinos, <laughs> anything like that. So I feel like though it's not like a super deep cleanser in my opinion, it is great for everyday use because 
I, I can't picture having an adverse reaction to this as well. It is very, um, it's just not aggressive, which I think is great. I have gotten into trouble in the past using very aggressive face washes and then having the most sensitive skin forever. So this I feel like is just, you know, kind of good for everybody. The moisturizer. The moisturizer is not what I was expecting at all. Let me see if I can kind of show you the texture of this. It's almost kind of like somewhere between a cream and a gel in my opinion. It goes on very clear. Can you see that? And I feel like in the past I've used mostly kind of moisturizing creams. Um, I had also previously figured out, I think the reason why my skin texture had gotten worse is I was using too heavy of moisturizers that were kind of clogging the pores. And this I feel like is very, very light. There's actually like almost no shiny residue to it at all. It's, it's almost like a matte in my opinion, like a matte moisturizer which is good and bad for me. Most of the time, it's great. I've been using it every single night. My skin has felt more just kind of like natural, if, if you know what I mean. I don't feel like I'm going to bed with all of these goops all over my face, but because of the retinol and this, the Retin-A, I guess. Is there a difference between Retin-A and Retinol? Please tell me. Some nights my skin would get a little bit drier and I would use an additional cream on top of this, just when my skin was feeling exceptionally dry. Every day I use, this was working great, but some days when my skin was dry, whether it be from the Retin-A or from not drinking enough water, I would put an additional cream on top that was a little more heavy duty and it would work totally fine. And I asked them too. I asked my dermatology provider if I could use it in addition to other skincare things. And she said, yeah, that's a good thing about Curology is you can kind of mix it with things that you're already using and it's fine. That's my review on this. Great for every day, not heavy duty. If you want something, if your skin's exceptionally dry, maybe do something on top of this, that type of thing. The cream. This I feel like is the part that's really, really worth it because previously for my dermatologist, oh my goodness, let me think of how much money I spent. My copay was probably like $80 a visit. The two prescription strength things that they gave me, oh, before insurance, one of them was about $200. After insurance, it was about 80. The other one before insurance was about $400. After insurance, about 190, I think, in that price range. So 80 plus 190, plus, that's like 300 and something dollars. It really, really added up. This, they basically put everything that I was given from my dermatologist and then some in this. And I should probably mention the price because that's one thing important to me. Okay, there's a couple different types of plans also that I didn't know about. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you know just so that you can know the options that you have. If you wanted to get the two month set, it is $59.90 for the full thing, which is technically $30 a month. If you wanted to just get the large super bottle that lasts for two months, it is $39.90, so $20 a month. I would go ahead and pay the extra $10 a month for both the cleanser and the moisturizer if it was me. Or you could just get this size, which is the part that is $19.95 a month, plus the, plus the shipping and handling. All of these are plus shipping and handling, which is $4.95. So I'm very, very pleased with the price difference of this. And that's one thing I told Curology too. Before agreeing to do a video, I was like, what's the price? Because that is most important to me. And if I don't feel like it's affordable to my subscribers, I'm not gonna recommend it. And when they told me $19.95, I was like, dang, I would for sure pay $19.95 for this a month. I actually just got my next box in the mail. So one of the things that I was actually going to complain about, it's a pro and a con, is the size of these are pretty small. They're just, they're pretty small, which is great for travel size things. When I was moving, that was awesome. I just threw it in my dock kit and it's easy peasy. But I was like, it would be cool if they would have bigger things because that would be, you know, less plastic, uh, having to get these less frequently. This is what the box looks like. It says, so good to see your face. These are bigger. Look at that, which is amazing. So I'm so excited. So this is technically the first month supply, which lasted me longer than a month. And I had been waiting to open this with you until I could film it on camera, but this is two months supply. That's great because it's limiting the amount of times you have to pay for shipping and also limiting the amount of um, plastic that they have to use to package the product. That was gonna be one of my complaints and it's already solved, <laughs> so that's cool. I think the thing that I do like too is that kind of all of my skincare steps were combined into just three steps, but I still do things on top of this. I still have my own eye cream that I do. I still have an eye lash serum that I do. So I do things on top of this, but at least my actual skincare has been greatly reduced to three steps. So it's easier to travel with, 
quicker in the evening. So all in all, I would say bang for your buck is great. I'm saving a lot of money no longer going to my dermatologist and instead messaging my dermatology provider. I actually just messaged her with another question this morning asking if I could add something else into my formula. So it's amazing not having to go and spend that copay. I do like the cleanser a lot. I love this a lot. The moisturizer I like on a day-to-day -day basis. Some days I feel like I have to add a little more heavy duty. That's my honest review. They gave me a couple month free trial to do this video and I actually genuinely want to continue to purchase this with my own money, which is something pretty rare. I would say, I mean, I get a lot of free products now, which is amazing. And I would say probably only 5% of the things I get for free, I'm tempted to rebuy with my own money just because I value my money a lot. <laughs> and this is something that I will rebuy once my free trial is up and now that it's been over a month nearing two the flakiness of my skin has significantly gone down they told me it takes you know six ish weeks for your skin to really get used to something new that is topical especially when it's prescription strength so now's a good time for me to be filming this video after you know kind of the adjustment period is over and my skin is settling back into the cycle i am wearing a tinted bb cream today so there is some makeup on my face but i'll still show you a close-up and show you how my skin is doing so that you can see the final not the final result but you know my current state of my skin here is the close-up of my skin currently the little bit of acne that i had around my chin is pretty much cleared up and i do feel like my skin is a little more taut and firm which is, I feel like a pretty big improvement just for a few weeks time. And the most important part, I'm gonna actually probably enter this early in the video too so that you know, is they gave a very generous promo code to you. If you wanna try it out for free, I will have a link down below where all you pay is the shipping, which is $4.95 I think, and you could try the full month free, which is I think what this was, and you could try it. And if you hate it, then whatever, at least you only paid for shipping. And if you wanna even try it even longer for your skin to get through the adjustment period, they have a really cool deal where it's 90 day money back guarantee. So you can actually try it for 90 days and if you decide you still hate it, let them know and they will send you your money back. So it's almost like 90 day trial for free if you decide you hate it. Which, like I said, everybody's skin's different. You should try it out for yourself because who knows what they'll end up prescribing you. Who knows what your skin's doing, but it's always worth trying something for free, seeing how you like it. If you don't like it, no harm, no fail. If you do, awesome. Kind of like you can't lose. <laughs> that is my honest review. If you have any other questions, let me know down below. I am no professional, but I will be able to answer it for you with my honest feedback and my honest opinion. Let me know. I love you guys so much. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.